Well, we just got back from an amazing trip to New York City where we played at Carnegie Hall. So this trip uh, was open to uh, anyone in the high school orchestra program. For every one of our out-of-state out of trips like this, we, we don't do auditions. We take everybody that's interested and then we sp spend uh, uh, a very, very long time practicing and putting everyone together so that that, that group uh, can put on an outstanding performance and we took 93 students. It's been quite an adventure. We started by applying uh, for this uh, maybe the middle of last year where we sent in an audition uh, tape or recording of our performances and uh, they were reviewed by a panel of uh, producers in New York City that uh, picked uh, some select groups to have them play at Carnegie Hall and we were one of the groups that were selected. And uh, after that, it was a matter of uh, many months of practice. It was really incredible. We had a concert Thursday night where uh, the students showed up to give one final performance for the parents. We arrived at the Park Central Hotel, which is literally across the street from Carnegie Hall. And, uh, and it was a weekend of just uh, seeing all the sights. We visited the Statue of Liberty. Uh, we saw a Broadway show. Uh, we let the kids uh, explore Times Square. Well, on Sunday, we, we showed up for a rehearsal at Carnegie Hall and we spent the afternoon there playing with uh, three other groups from different parts of the country. And then when we actually got to Carnegie, it was just like one of a once in a lifetime type of thing because you, you heard it was a different type of sound. I was really excited to go to Carnegie Hall and when I got there, I was like, wow, this is so big. There were five floors. It was like amazing. And I thought it was a really inspiring experience. Normally in a normal auditorium like here at Berkeley High School it like you can hear the sound for maybe like one second afterwards but then in Carnegie Hall we were sitting there for like 10 seconds waiting for the sound to disappear it was like so much louder and it was so cool. One of my favorite things uh was that I got to sit in the back of the, of the auditorium and, and watched as the audience came in and I, I got to see all of our uh, families that had come in from uh, from different parts to, to New York City to see uh, the children play. It was just neat to see their faces. They were just literally uh, beaming with pride and excitement as they were finding their seats to see their uh, their students play on the world's most famous concert hall stage. And uh, it just it reminded me in that moment of you know how important we are to our community. It was, it was a, a moving experience. The concert was great. We played really, really well. We were last in the program. We got a standing ovation. The performance itself, like we were all like so focused on playing that it's all kind of a blur really. Like it went by so quickly, but it was so, so cool to play there and hear like a different sound and be playing at one of the world's most famous concert halls. It was so much fun to watch their faces when we got on the stage. As they sat on the stage and looked out into this gigantic concert hall that has you know, multiple balconies and uh, it just it, it, it's, it looks so beautiful from the stage. It was just uh, it was really fun to watch their facial expressions and you know, to be, uh, just the awe and the, and the excitement. I'm really hoping that that will be one of the, the memories that uh, sticks with them from high school for the rest of their lives. Performing at such a young age on Carnegie Hall, it was really nerve-wracking at first but once you start playing it's like you're just so excited that you just play really well it's it was a really good experience i'd like to continue with music so next time i go i will be like oh i've been here before and i'll just like remember like back oh i remember that like really cool trip that i went on with all my like best friends to new york